Hi, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing how to sew the Jessica slip dress. This dress comes in sizes 6 to 24 and it has a beautiful cow neck design. It's available to download on my website and I've left a link in the description box on where you can find this pattern. So the first thing we're going to want to sew for this dress is these straps. You're going to have two of these and what we're going to want to do, make sure the right sides are facing up and we're just simply going to fold this in half so the wrong sides are facing out and we're going to pin along this long edge. So this is one strap completely pinned and what we're going to want to do is basically sew a line right across this edge with a one centimeter seam allowance and that's just going to create a nice skinny strap and then we're going to repeat the same process for the other strap. So now that the two straps are sewn, as you can see here, what you're going to want to do is take some scissors and we're just going to reduce the seam allowance slightly. So we're just going to snip the seam allowance in half. And that'll just make the seam allowance of the strap a bit less bulky so when we turn this out to the right side it'll be much neater. So now what we're going to want to do is turn the straps out to the right side. I have a loop turner which is a great way to turn out straps to the right side. You could also use a safety pin if you don't have this but what you do is simply push this inside, kind of hook the end over and you just gently push this through. is what that looks like so this is what the straps look like now that I've pressed them nice and flat and they look super clean and sleek we're basically going to want to do this exact same process for the back ties so exactly same with the straps we're just going to sew these back ties using a one centimeter seam allowance all the way down the end and then turning it out to the right side so this is what the back ties look like now that I've done the same process as the straps of the dress and I've just pressed them nice and flat since I've turned them right side out. And what we're going to want to do now is basically finish one end of the strap, take a pin or something sharp and we're just going to push in the edges of one end so we can neatly finish just one end of the strap or you can even use your hands to start off with. So if you push the edges in. And then we use a pin to actually push down into the strap. And as you can see, we've just neatly folded the strap in on itself. And what we're going to want to do is literally just sew this at the sewing machine, just the edge of the strap closed. So this is what the strap end should look like when you just sew one edge closed and then the other edge is completely open and this is ready to put to one side now so we're just going to put this to one side and we're going to focus on assembling the front dress so what we're going to want to do now is take our front dress piece and we're essentially going to attach the straps and make the front facing so what we're going to want to do is take our strap pieces and this is the shoulder straps and what we're going to want to do is effectively where we have our fold line which is marked on the pattern we're going to base this or pin this right at the edge so once we've pinned the two straps at the edge where the fold line is we're going to make sure that we fold this facing piece over making sure the right sides are facing and this is going to become what our neckline is up here so if we make sure that we fold the fabric exactly where the fold line is and we're going to just use some pins to pin this in place. So now that we've pinned along the armholes, we can get rid of the pin if we put one under here 
making sure the straps are in the middle and they're not touching anywhere else in the seam apart from the top section. We're just going to sew both armholes using a half an inch seam allowance. So now that we've sewn the armholes with a half an inch seam allowance, it's optional, but what I'm going to do is just clip the seam here, just so it's not as bulky. And then what I'm going to do is take both of these straps and I'm just going to gently pull the right side out. And as you can see, we have the neckline forming and we also have the armholes. And what I'm going to do is just press the armholes flat on both sides. So this is what the front of the dress should look like now that we've just pressed flat the armholes of the front dress and it's looking really cute. What we're going to want to do is put this to one side and focus on the back of the dress. So this is the back of the dress and there's two notches that is marked on the pattern and that's how we're going to insert the straps. But what we're going to do before that is take the back facing and make sure that right sides are touching. And we're just going to pin along the neckline edge, but we're going to leave a gap exactly where the two notches are so we can insert the straps later. So now we're going to sew along the back neckline and make sure that we leave two gaps where the straps are going to sit. We're going to want to make sure we sew this with a half an inch seam allowance and again leave two gaps where these straps are going to sit. So I've just sewn the back neckline and I've left two gaps and if you did it like my method you're going to want to snip the spare threads in between the gaps and that will leave you with two holes exactly where we're going to insert the straps but before we do that we're just going to turn the facing over towards the wrong side of the fabric and I'm just going to press this flat. So this is what the back neckline looks like now that I've pressed this nice and flat. And what we're going to want to do now is connect the front straps to the back of the dress. So making sure that we place the front of the dress with the wrong side facing up, we're going to place the back dress on top of this, but this time the right side is facing up, like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the strap so it's making sure that it's not twisted and we're going to insert it into the hole of the back strap. And I'm just going to take a pin and pin this in place. So the strap length of the dress might vary depending on what your preference is. So what I would do is just base this on and actually try this on before you sew it down. And then once you're happy with the length of the straps, just go underneath and sew as I'm going to show you right now. So now the straps are attached from the front to the back of the dress. What we're going to want to do is actually finish the facings inside. So we have the front facing on the front dress and then we also have the back facing on the back dress and what we're going to want to do is use an overlocker or you can even double fold the hem just so we finish the facing edges nice and neat. So this is exactly what the hem of the facing should look like if you use an overlocker. And again, you can use a double folded hem, so this is optional. It's just so the facing is nice and neat on the inside. So this is the front facing 
and then on the back facing we've done exactly the same process. So what we're going to do now is place the front dress on top of the back dress and we're going to make sure the right sides are facing and aligning the armhole seams at the side seam we're just going to pin along the whole side seam and making sure that we catch all four layers of fabric here we're just going to pin this section So making sure we're not using the strap section that we actually sewed, we're going to use the raw strap and we're going to push this under the fabric and in where the notch is. So I've just pinned the strap in there, making sure that this is the raw edge poking out. And we're just gonna make sure that we're not gonna sew the rest of the strap to the side seam, it's just this section here. And we're just going to sew using a half an inch seam allowance all the way down and we're going to repeat the exact same process for the other side and overlock the seam for a nice and clean finish. So this is what the dress looks like. We've got the front bodice, the back bodice and you can see what the side seam looks like now that you've just sewn that nice and neatly. All that's left to do now is actually just hem the dress. So when hemming a dress that's cut on the bias, you naturally want to let this drop for 24 hours. So literally hanging this on a hanger and letting the weight of the fabric kind of drop the hem because sometimes it can drop unevenly. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to hem this now with the wrong sides facing out. We're just going to create a double folded hem by folding this up once by half an inch and again by half an inch and we're just going to pin this along the entire hem and sew this down. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I sew this dress. I'll see you in the next one.